The Old Quarter in Hanoi, Vietnam is known for its charming narrow streets, bustling markets and historic architectures. Boutique hotels in this area often reflect the rich cultural heritage of Hanoi while offering personalized service and unique experiences to travelers. This hotel I stayed in caught my attention. Here's why. on the list uh -huh. but one person two dishes and two drinks okay. and you write your room number and the time just as estimatedly okay. and then you return it before 10 p.m here okay okay, okay? Yes. so two one i can choose either vietnamese or western yes. breakfast, right? just two dishes two drinks okay yes. all right thank you okay yes and um okay and the room key ah, for sure. two. We upgrade you to the big one. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, family rooms oh. with a small balcony. Okay, thank you. you. Thanks. Yes, thank you. So here, uh, twenty four hours, it will be open, right? Um, after twelve p.m., my college will be here, okay. and they will close. Okay. So just in case we have a bed, the ring outside. Uh, ah, yeah. okay, all right. And okay. you can close the door. Okay, yeah. no problem. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. They also have a storage area for your luggages in case you are early. And a bathroom for you to freshen up in case you're on a late night flight and you need to wait and hang out. So a little bit shower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are on the fourth floor. There's only two rooms each floor. 401 and mine is 402. So we've been upgraded to the family suite. And this room is for, I think, about 
four, five sleeper. See, there's one single bed there. One huge grand sofa here. And a double bed. Huge one. A very fancy dressing table. A huge TV here as well. Nice vintage phone and lamp. Ceiling fan. And let's check out the mini bar. Complimentary coffee and tea. Mineral water. Kettle. Visual stuff. What's in here? <laughs> nothing. Nope, nothing as well. Bedroom slippers. I like the furniture here, it's very. I'll say classic. This is a single bed. Oops. Another small TV. And we have a tiny balcony. Unfortunately, it's overlooking someone's backyard. Nothing much to see here. So the other room 401 I think is overlooking the street. So I guess it can get quite noisy with all the honking and people selling food which I'll show you. Oh that's a safe box. Rope. Package, please. Oops. Lots of hangers. Wow, extra pillows. It's like three extra pillows. Wow, that's the first. Okay, let's check out the bathroom now. Towels. Mm. I don't think I want to use it. What's this? Should I open it? I don't know. Ah, extra toilet paper. Okay, that's what it is. Oh. Nice rain shower. Top to bottom tiles, marble tiles with plaster ceiling. Another fancy mirror. Hand dryer. Brush, home, cotton buds, shell cap. So, fresh and clean and disinfected. Shampoo and soap. I'll try the water pressure later, as usual. Okay. Yes. 
It's all. Right, I'm going to try this unique phone. See whether it's working. Hello. Yep, it's definitely working. Okay, nice. I wonder if I can get this in care. Looks so antique. I'm going to choose my breakfast order. So what do we have? Western, eggs, omelette, ham and cheese, bacon and fried eggs, bacon sandwich, pancake. Mm. Sticky rice with pork, sticky rice with egg, dumplings, Noodle soup, chicken, noodle soup, beef, drinks, and juices, tea, coffee. Okay, so I can choose two food and two drinks. Each person can choose two each. All right. So what should I go for? Uh, bacon and fried eggs. beef noodle soup maybe I'll go for coffee and one juice alright yep I guess that's it on breakfast make two order breakfast
We opt for more bread. <laughs> so this is a chicken burger. Chicken sandwich. Yeah. So it's a very Western meal. All, probably our last meal in Vietnam. <laughs> So let's see what's in front of Royal Holiday Hotel. Uh, obviously, tour agencies, some restaurants, and a lot of massages. Here's my uh, review and conclusion of Royal Holiday Hotel in Hanoi. Okay, let's start off uh, with the bathroom. The water pressure is average, but it has a very weird uh, shower mechanism. I still cannot figure it out by now. And uh, okay, the internet is very good, fast and stable, so no issues with that. I think uh, they have a dedicated uh, internet for each floor. Uh, soundproofing of the room. No issues, I couldn't hear anything, but I slept like a baby anyway. Also, my room is facing the backyard. So, if your room is facing the street, so there might be some noises from the motorbikes and things like that, but as far as I can tell, no issues at all. Yeah, so location-wise, yeah, it's very good uh, in the old quarter. You can just walk to anywhere, uh, but unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to walk around as I'm just here for less than 24 hours before I fly off. It's very near to the famous lake and also the night market street, which is on the weekend, I think. Okay, uh, the breakfast. Breakfast, uh, you have to select uh, of two main course and two drinks per person. So, as you might have already watched the earlier video, the spread was okay, quite decent, but the portion is very big. So, no issues with that at all. You'll be good to go for at least half a day. The main highlight of this hotel is definitely its unique decoration. Its rustic uh, European style echo is definitely the highlight. I like how they put in so much effort to decorate such a small boutique hotel. So, good job to the management and the owner. Keep it up and I hope it's well maintained. What's your name? Uh, my name is May. May. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. service. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's all from Royal Holiday Hotel in Hanoi. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.